rolling. All right. Hello, YouTube. This is Florida TJGS24, and right now this is the new Call of Duty game that came out two days ago. I don't care if they don't sync in or I already downloaded it. For the past day, I've been playing this game. I'll say I got into a good, you know, decent level. So sorry that I couldn't, you know, level up with you, you know, people. But I'm just run over a quick run down the game. So main menu. It's actually pretty decent. So far, they got, you know, rank. They got battle pass going up. They got all this. You can just pause during the video whenever you want. They got these little events going on. They got deals already going on for multiple transactions. They got loadouts, kind of like in the real game. I'm about to go over there and check. I'm going to save that for later. Right now, I'm going to just show you a plan. So, if you see here where it says Spartan 104, that is my name on this game. So, if you want to hit me up, go ahead. But, basically, we already made our clan. Basically, when we're getting, you have to hit level 5. If, I mean, level 5, I mean, it should be easy to get on this game. But if you want to join, go ahead. Just know this, hopefully you're part of the Reach clan, otherwise, I have some words. But anyway, clan log, no one joined yet because the clan was me yesterday and I didn't really announce it, so, my shame. They have ranked matches too, so that's great. I haven't played that many ranked matches, I played like one earlier. But, besides doing that, I'm just also going to one little basic. This game is so easy to play. Like, they already got multiplayer and they already got battle royale. Yeah? But, based on this game, alright, we're gonna go, we're gonna multiplayer first. We multiplayer. The settings in this game is so easy. Like, let me show you. I'm gonna kill on simple mode and I'm gonna hit out. For a simple loadout, this thing is easy. All you gotta do is just look over wherever your target is, like if you guys read for the normal crosshairs, and the game will automatically shoot for you. All you gotta do is worry about on the left where you move. I'm gonna just move myself back right about there. Worry about the assault rifle thing, you know, whether you're picking between your primary, secondaries, and all that stuff. And not only that, but the whole thing is customizable. You have your HP at the bottom, you have your guns, you have your kill streaks on the left side of the guns, you have your plant bomb objective thing, right? And on the top, like, you know, side right, you have your, you know, tactical. I guess gameplay features. You have a sprint mode that automatically runs. You have the little message thing in case you want to like, type your message if you don't want to talk. You can talk on this game as well. It's like one of those new fun games where you got to talk to other people. You don't know what that orange button is. That's your operate skill. And apparently I got a flamethrower on my main loadout. I also got the minigun. But these are the simple settings. I'm not going to spoil it too much. I'm going to let y'all get the game and try to figure out. But I'm going to just discard everything I just did so it didn't mean to touch anything and in the advanced mode I'm going to show you the advanced mode now this is more so for the people who just want to control everything about the game everything they do the only difference is, is that A besides the whole movement controls basically you have more buttons and these buttons allow you to do there's one button allows you to throw your grenade whenever you want one button allows you to knife whenever you want one button allows you to shoot whenever you want one button allows you to zoom in whenever you want one allows you to zoom in and aim in one button at the same time so this is my, more for those people who want to do every little detail by themselves and stuff and let the game just like do all the work for them. And all they gotta do is move around just where they aim and all that stuff. And that plus, no offense, but even with that aim, no offense, but there are a lot of times where I'd rather be shooting or rather just let them like, you know, uh, how you say, lead into the bullets. Instead of letting the game only shoot when I'm over them. No offense, but this is for people who are like, as I could. I mean, if you want to do some quick scopes of this, this is also good for those who don't like simple settings because simple settings don't allow you to quick scope as efficiently. This will allow you to zoom in quick scope. Some simple settings will allow you to quote unquote be handed in air scope. But this game. Okay. I'm just starting to say what I did. Basics is fun. There's injuries. Graphic. I have mine on medium. Friendly on high, I don't know what that high does, like I said. I don't need a high special on the front of the camera right now. I don't know if it's the same time as 8. I can't turn it up and have it up early, which is great. But that's amazing. Battle Royale mode. Battle Royale. That's simple mode again. We have advanced mode. And not only that, but Battle Royale 
you play first person and third person at will. I'm not sure if you can do that in your other games like Fortnite and PUBG because I've got no play on 360 version of those. And I sure as hell never in my life will or ever will play Fortnite. But you also got the quick messages. Some some of these I think you can customize or make your own. But anyway. But this game is not only fully customizable, you might as well just say it's a console game put on your phone. Might as well. I'm gonna show you my loadouts, the part that I wanted to show you. Which also that reminds me since I'm on the micro. The other reason why I say this is a good multiplayer game is because, hey, you can go into regular matches. You can go into ranked matches if you want. Or you can have your own private lobby that you can fully customize. Match settings, kill limit 40, time limit 60 seconds, kill streets load. And I can customize it right above the start button. I can customize what game we're going to play. Right now, the four games that this game has out so far is just frontline being just regular team deathmatch. Only difference is the respawns. You respawn only in your base. You don't just like spawn all over the map. Team Deathmatch is just like what really. Team Deathmatch and Hollow do. Search and Destroy, they actually have a function in Search and Destroy, which we're about to play in a second. And Domination, they actually have a function in Domination in a second. They have all the kill scripts and everything. And you can actually invite friends to play. You can actually see when your friends are online and invite them. So, yes, it is kind of like a console game. Right now I only have one person added and that was like the one kid I was playing against earlier, which no offense if he's watching this video. GG. Even though I won. Anyway. For the multiplayer, I'm just gonna do a quick game of multiplayer. I'm gonna show you all my loadouts just so you can get a view of the kind of game I'm doing. Right now I just have my phone at M4 with the red triangles. Yeah, I also have guns in here where you can like create customized like, cameras and all that stuff so when you get a camera game you can like, you know, buy a micro transaction you actually get some skin in it but sometimes you just gotta level up to get it like right, so far I just got this new gun they have guns from all over different Call of Duties like PDW from Black Ops 2 the AK-47 from almost any other shooting game the Striker Type 25 I have no idea what this is M14 or M21, whatever you want to call it. I have no idea what this is. I thought that was DSR at first, but obviously not. I have no idea what that is. I think that's LMG and RPD. I know what that is. A ASM10. I think that's from Advanced Warfare. I could be wrong. And that looks like an LMG. But these are not even all the guns in the game. They have the MSMC for all those Black Ops 2 fans. They have a regular ass M16, and they have a whole bunch more. So. If you want to try and get this game to head, take a second because that's one issue. I mean, I'm going to say this. They are adding more than this game. Right now, these are the only five things that they have. Uh, Show the fire rocket on here. Go for a few more years. I already done up for the moment. Turn it on. Yeah, five loadouts. I'm using the two loadouts real quick. Special out. It says special ops and show it to you. That looks like Kill Fighters. So we operate so like this is like a retarded thing. War machines. Rattle shields. Crossbows. A laser gun, apparently. Mini gun. And I got the pistol. Grenades. You can customize the grenades. This game is like a console game on your phone. Now, I'm gonna just do less talking. We also got a battle royale mode. And we also got full customizations. You get the whole yeah buddy thing for when you display upon victory. And you also got these things for weapon XP cards that help you level up your guns faster. If um, the next card is intended for you. Now, we're going to do a game of Search and Destroy. I'm going to do less talking, but I'm just going to say this. I just got back on this game. So, I'm not going to do this with a warm up. I mean, yeah, I want a little bit of hours or anything to me. But I'm gonna just let y'all see for yourselves. So, I'm gonna start the game with Search and Destroy, and I'm gonna do less talking, and I'm gonna just let you see some gameplay. I'm hoping that I can get through this without any interruptions on my phone. If not, I'll try to get it out the way as fast as I can. And I'm gonna also try to, uh, what's it called? 
play a little bit of Battle Royale afterwards. Now, one other last note in terms of like the waiting time. The waiting time is not that you know slow like how it just was. Twenty four seconds. Anymore. That was me running off of no Wi-Fi. Search and so right destroy. Now, I'm recording this match and playing this map with barely any Wi-Fi. But oh, by the way, if you see look up at the top right where it says tap here, talk. I can talk. I just choose not to because I'm talking to y'all. Change the loadout. You can change the loadout before a game. You can change the loadout. Like, destroy the objective. You start. You can change. Bomb acquired. Change. I'm gonna try to change that right quick. Even though I have no problem with the gun I just had. Yeah, so the bomb. Uh, Enemy down! We got the bomb. Back. You can check the map. I'm going to switch my bomb. Dropped. Okay, someone's dying. Alright, time to get to play. Reloading. I'm a heart scopey scrub. Oh, I actually hit that. Okay. Ah, oh, crap, I tried no scope. Oh shit, look at that M4. That good one for it. Uh, oh, one other thing when you were doing this. I was going to do 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 this. Short. I'm gonna just also say this lastly, these are real. Destroy the objective. We got the bomb. These are actual people around the world. Okay, it's a little bit of lag. Now, I was going off of site to take a dump, even though I will say this, I was never connected to the Destroy the objective. Bomb acquired. So, now that I'm actually connected to Wi Fi and all that stuff, I'm going to try to play it. I'm not running on hotspot, just regular Wi Fi. And, let's see. Oh, um, one other thing in the top left corner where it says targets. 
Especially on such an right, but that's how many people are left alive. So right now we're just five on five. Time's almost up. You can notice at the bottom near yeah, this guy. Target down. Nice work. Oh. Move to the next round. Good job. Ooh. What? Okay. All right. Thank God. Wait, I might need this. So dead. The bomb has been planted. Oh, oh, one of the things. This game is basically simple to the point that basically, if you see an enemy, you'll notice like the red, like, on the arm. Time is sure almost up. Lost that dude, it's not really over yet. Ready up. I, mean, I haven't really played Black Ops 3 or 4. I play every other Call of Duty. Defend the objectives. They have the bomb. The, those two I just named and Infinite Warfare. No offense, but who has played Infinite Warfare? You can look at that game and tell us a Halo ripoff. Everyone only bought that game, and I'm gonna try that shit on At Vision or whatever. Who made that game? Treyarch. No one bought that game for that game. Everyone only bought it. At least everyone that I know only bought it. That's how Infinite Warfare remastered. And I don't. I don't know since I'm coming out to you, my Warfare. Oh no! I guess I'm not knifing you. Okay, I'm still getting hit from somewhere. What the hell? The bomb has been planted. And of course. Okay. Other team. Mm -hmm. Let's we'll see if I can pull up the final feed for the whole lobby.
And that is everyone in the lobby. So, to everyone here, GG everybody. Uh, not sure what else to say, but, you know, GG. Now, that was just Search and Destroy. For those who doesn't know what Frontline is, I'm not sure if that's new to Call of Duty or what, but they have that, they have TDM, they have Domination, they have rank matches. I was about to play one, but anyway. I'm going to end this video right here. And next video, I will play some of the video after that. So I see how that goes. I was a lazy, you could probably be more additional to be more But, it's after the fact that the game is done, it's talking, and, uh, you know what, I, I don't want to spoil too much, I'll let you guys see. So I'm going to end this video up there, and I'm going to let y'all, you know, try to download this game. You got my name, you got the plan, and what to do.